Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a basic tutorial on how to use ZBoss. Um, now this can be used to basically complete a level for you um, with a macro. Um, this tutorial will probably be applicable to the majority of bots, it won't apply to all bots, but it applies to the majority. Um, so I'm going to start off with how to install a bot. It's quite simple. Uh, all you have to do is once you have the DLL, you put it into your main geometry dash folder, and in this file called Absolute DLLs, you do need Mega Hack V6. You add zbot.dll to this file, save it, and exit out. You then add the zbot.dll into the file as I have here and if you're using the pro version you'll be provided a product key to activate your copy of ZBot and that should also be in the folder. So once you've launched the game for the first time you can press right shift this menu will pop up. Um, so we're going to start with recording a macro so I'm going to be recording the golden unnerfed. I tried to bot this before with Ybot, didn't really turn out so well. But uh, Zbot has fixed physics for shipping UFOs so it should be a lot easier and quicker. Um, so to start out you're going to want to set your FPS to whatever FPS you want. For the level, um, if you're playing a normal level you should set it to 240. If you're playing some kind of impossible level it should have a specific FPS. Uh, you can find that by just asking someone in the impossible level list server or something. Uh, you can set a speed hack value. Um, I'm going to set it to 0.3. Uh, the higher it goes up to 1, the more realistic it's going to look. I'm not too concerned with that. So I'm just going to do 0.3. So to begin, the macro, you go to playback menu, override recording name, and you just like type in the golden unearthed or something. Of course if you're in the menu and you press space, um, so you click apply, you click on record, make sure all your values are set, um, you can disable death effect, I find this quite useful, practice music and speed hack audio so you can get the sync. See, so yeah, I just go into level to begin. So start recording the macro. Make sure no clip is turned off in Mega Hack. As you can see, it's turned off. You go into practice mode. And before I start, I'm just going to lay down the rules of placing checkpoints because there are a few of them. Uh, you cannot place checkpoints while clicking. Um, with some bots other than Zbot, uh, it doesn't apply to this, but you cannot place checkpoints during UFO or ship sections. That's just a general thing for most bots. This bot happens to have uh, fixed physics and practice mode, so it's fine. So I'm going to start recording the macro. So you just do it like you would normal practice one. Uh, as you can see, I'm not placing checkpoints while I'm clicking. If I feel like I have press one while clicking, I just delete the checkpoint and re-record it. It also may help to switch to a um, like a uh, layout version of the level. I don't really do that, but some people find it easier to bot the level if they're using a layout, just to improve the visibility. Uh, so recording macros, especially with the not holding while clicking rule, can be quite frustrating. My best advice is just to practice doing it, get used to it, and it should be a lot easier after a lot of practice. Now for ships, you don't want to like go spam clicking because that will make the macro terrible. Um, do your best to try and click as little as possible on ship sections just to make it look a lot more sleek and just more realistic. Again making sure not to place checkpoints while clicking. 
Now, at some points that require a lot of holding, you might be unable to press a checkpoint. This really just is a matter of skill and being able to pass this bit. You may want to press ignore or escape just in case you're clumsy and you might click one of these buttons and that will stop the recording of the macro and you definitely don't want that. That's happened to me a few times so clicking ignore or escape definitely helps with that. It's also worth mentioning if you're unsure about a part you can always go to a completion of the level such as this one. Uh, like for instance at the beginning of this section it's kind of customary to only click once. Many people might not know that. It might make the macro more unrealistic. If you ever feel like a section is too hard, you can alter the speed hack how you might be needing that here. And there we go, it's finished. So when you're finished, uh, the macro should automatically save itself. It should remain equipped, see it's disabled now. And you can just go and exit out the level. Now to play the macro, you're going to want to set your replay speed to 1, obviously. So you just click playback, and then start playing the level. And I don't have no clip turned on. Uh, so at some point in a level, especially if it's high detail, you may start to get lag spikes. Um, that's just due to the bot slowing down the game to get all the FPS it needs to perform the quits perfectly basically. There is an option to disable this, I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, maybe just go into a low detail mode version. Um, I don't usually use it, I just go on a low detail mode. But this may be inconvenient for showcases. So the macro seems to be doing pretty well. Uh, no still turned off, so it seems to be perfect. Um, some reasons why a macro should mess up, if you didn't place a checkpoint correctly, if you place one while clicking, again that's just down to practice and recording the macro correctly. There shouldn't be anything wrong with the bot, unless it's a special situation with like slopes and slider orbs are a bit iffy, dual portals can be iffy. But generally, they're fine. Yeah, so this is what I was talking about. It does slow down the game, kind of like speed hack. When you reach a laggy section, that can be fixed by just doing this, and your FPS will, you know, go at normal speed again. That's basically all you need to know. Um, importing macros. So someone could give give you a .zbot file. And you just put that into your geometry dash replays folder. Anyway, that's basically it. Uh, just a, like another quick warning: don't use this for malicious purposes or like hacking. Uh, I know it's tempting, like maybe you're struggling with a level or something, but it's it's just not worth it. You'll probably get caught, and no one will ever believe you if you do anything legit. It's just not worth it. Anyway, apart from that, that's all I really have to say. Goodbye.